Hello everyone, this is Ranjit from GCS IR team. In this video, I am going to discuss how to create and configure an IDD application for IAR. I will give a demo how to add a physical system and how to create and configure an IDD application. To launch an IDD application, use this URL Tomcat server host, Tomcat server port, slash IDD, slash config. It will prompt you a an login window. We can enable two types of authentication for IDD. Uh, either we can use the LDAP authentication or in database security authentication. Uh, please refer documents to configure them. I already configured in database security. So uh, my username is m admin and password is secret. Once you log into the IDD, it will show you this screen. So from IR systems, we need to add a physical system first. From add button, we can add a physical system. So uh, we need to give in this display name and actual system name. So my system name is uh, Wembley Registry Finance. I am giving same name as display name. Here we need to give a secure search server host and secure search server port, which is 1470 for me. And here we need to give rule based details. Rule based number, IR target schema, username, IR target schema, password, and service name. From this button, we can test the connection which internally calls the IR open system API. So, system is successful. So, now physical system is added. Uh, from here, you can add another system, you can edit it you can delete it or you can test in connection now go to the applications to create an application use add button to create an application we need to give name and display name I am giving the same name for both uh, the application is created now edit it to map it with the physical system So here we can add a physical system. So now we need to add an IDT. It will show you the logical system. And whatever the IDT it has in logical system, it, it will show you here. from change colon selection um, button we can add the colons we want to display on dashboard so no, whatever colons you want to display on dashboard you can select I'm copying all the colons you can change the order of the colons searches these are the searches uh, configured for this SDF from label uh, we can configure and label for tab header for the tab displaying the clusters so these are the two multi search definition configured for this system household household and entity the view name if we have defined any view name in the sdf we can define it define that here so if you are going to display the relationships between two cluster objects uh, you can use these settings uh, we can change the uh, color of the layout of the relationship box we can add lab label there we can add icons for relationship as well so after adding editing the application first validate that there is no error now save the application after saving the application we need to deploy this always uh, go for full deployment so now application has configured uh, we can edit edit an existing application we can delete that if you want to export the application we can export that this is for the validation 
uh, we can either uh, we can also import an existing ap application or we can import an import any particular XML file if you are changing uh, any settings from the IR console then uh, uh, clear the cache and redeploy the application to launch the application click on this URL it will ask for the username and password give the details and login so once you log into the application it will first show you the task created for this user so from task deta detail button we can uh, check the details of the task uh, using open task we can open the task and review that from task type uh, we can view a particular task type for the merge and uh, best clustering methods so this is the how we can configure an IDD application and we would always love to hear from you uh, please give your feedback on support videos at the informatica.com you can log into the twitter for the uh, giving feedback as well thank you